want to give a huge shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and also creating an amazing all-in-one platform that's helping me grow and launch my brand. But this truly makes the top you saw or maybe you didn't but Caleb I ran into the guy in the street we filmed an apartment tour of this place and it's got like 60 million views across all platforms so oh my goodness what the hell this is sick this is my wife Caleb Hannah that's my sister's nice name to meet you I love that place. you gutted out this entire place yeah that's and we what got it had this arch and these pillars and things yeah it looks Victorian a little yeah bit. there was a big arch here 1894 Wild. in the floorboard if you didn't catch it you should check it out but that being said i still owe you guys on youtube the long time loyal followers subscribers uh a proper tour but i just don't think it's ready yet there's still a couple things i need to do to kind of like finalize the design like i still need credenza or sideboard over here um we still need some art which i'm definitely not going to get before i give you a tour because that it's an expensive endeavor and a personal endeavor. I do want to show you a bit more. I'm going to take you through some of the things. Oh, by the way, yesterday was P's third birthday. Um, the guy loves Lightning McQueen. Um, I'm going to take you through a couple of my little Amazon things, my affordable things that kind of make this place functional. Um, you know, you end up designing your home, working so long on it, all these things and all these thoughts. And then there's like these little things that seem like luxuries that you could put in or you can just do really cheaply on Amazon. And I'm gonna talk about those as my guilty pleasures in my new newsletter, which is coming out next week, the week after Thanksgiving. So that baby is powered by Squarespace. This vlog, as you saw right at the start, is sponsored by Squarespace. It's a good service. And if you aren't aware, I'm getting you a deal if you sign up right down here. So it's amazing. I'm hosting my newsletter there. I'm powering my shop hosting it all, which is gonna have a lot of these Amazon items I'm gonna talk about. You can link to affiliate sites, like I could link to my Amazon storefront through my Squarespace site, um, all on brennanfollis.com. So go to brennanfollis.com, sign up for the mailer, check out Squarespace, sign yourself up. Why don't you start a newsletter, start an idea, get anything going. I think it's important and they got communities, templates to design, all these things. Um, these guys have been a great partner to me, helping support these vlogs. So I appreciate you, Squarespace. Check out that link and check out brendanfollis.com because you're gonna see some of the stuff I'm about to show you. Starting with this, and lucky it's evening. I can turn the lights off and show you, but we put these stairs in, well, during, I was like, you know, it's really cool to have lit, like lights on your stairs, like little mood lights to light up each step, but it's obviously a lot of wiring. You gotta buy more things to go in. We'd already built this staircase and we'll have the contractors rip it out. So check out what I found. These are a sensor driven light. So when you walk by, it just sticks on with a little sticky in the back. Charges USB-C, which I think is super important because that old USB-A or whatever it was, I don't even know the firewire thing was terrible. Um, you can put them like this if you want it. Um, to go a little further, or I like to keep it down because keep it like super moody. So at night, you got a full mood in here, which looks amazing. And pop one around the corner, and then I have this kind of beautiful little remote light situation for so cheap, which I love. I think those things are uh, no more than seven to ten dollars under 20 bucks each anyway the second thing we use daily which i love which is this now on that tiktok video a bunch of people screenshotted like do you see do they have like a step up to the toilet or is that a poopy stool or what is it that is a poopy stool but the one they make squatty potty sorry the squatty potty they make is plastic and our floors are all marble so i found this marble one on amazon oh hello it's marble one on amazon you got two heights 
get this height, get that height, and as you know, come on, we're all human, it's part of it. Another good functional one if you have glass showers, and by the way I'm going to leave links for all these down there, but is a gray squeegee, you know, I just wanted it to fit in with our vibe of our shower, so super helpful every day because water stains on glass are no joke. Okay, this isn't from Amazon, this is from Walmart, but this is a new addition for us. But this thing is stunning and it is like 500 bucks. You see these on like first dibs or something for like a couple grand, 500 bucks, incredible. So I found this on Walmart using Google Lens. I don't know if you guys use Google Lens, but I saw something that looked just like this and then you can just use Google Lens and they'll find anything on the internet that looks like it and you can shop. So great way to find dupes, great way to find originals that look like or are inspired by other pieces. But this, um, again, was like 500 bucks and it's now hosting a whole lot of things from Hannah. Next thing, which I love, is in the kitchen. I love organizing drawers, so this, you know, having a nice spice drawer is very important, but these, like this perfect little rack, and you can get as many as you want, stack them however you want, screw them in if you need to, but this truly makes me so happy. Look at that spice drawer. Come on. That is paradise. Then little things like organizing your kid's drawer. I love organizing. So these also found on Amazon. Again, we'll leave a link, but spoons. I mean, how many of your kids are just getting sick every week in the winter? All the bibs, straws. This is me, guys, organizing all this stuff because I love it in the fridge. You know, I get the inspo from TikTok from these people, but this egg roller from Utopia, whereas I know it's from there, it says there every time I open it. But you just put one in, one on the top, and roll it back. Do this all day. Saves a lot of space. We gotta keep two cartons around, so I'm probably just gonna get another one of these to go beside it, to be honest. So we are burning through eggs over here with this fam. Isn't that right, Taylor? Yes. Well, really, Hannah. <laughs> Hannah loves an egg. She loves eggs. What else? Oh, I wanna show you one of my favorite things in our closet, which I love. And again, it was like a $5,000 addition or 3000 from the brand who did our closet, or now you follow me as I get close. Sensors come on. Yeah. The whole thing lights up. How cool is that? Now it looks like this one isn't charged. That's obviously the one downfall is you gotta charge these all the time. Remember I was saying USB C's I love and then I hate these things. I don't even know what they're called. They're these charge here. Yeah. Charge those up, they last a long time. Also, from Amazon, so we have this space behind here. So these are closets of bags, sweaters, etc. which again, home tour coming up. There is a post behind this one, so they didn't even put anything in here. It's just kind of, you'd open it, there's a post. So I had them build drywall in front. Oh, welcome to the vlog. Thanks, really quick. I just wanted to ask you. So as mentioned, behind here was this post. And I picked up these sunglass racks on Amazon and just screwed them in. And now look at this organization. To me, sunglasses just sit in boxes or drawers in all their cases and you can't see them. And you never really know what you have and you just kind of get into one pair and you wear it. Then once a year you try some more on, you forget what's there again. You just keep the top pair in rotation or whatever. Um, not like, People have this many sunglasses, but we happen to. Figured to make it a little retail experience, you know? Even put a sensor light up here. So when you open it, if it's dark, 
this thing whew, lights up the whole rack. You see that? Look at that. How cool is that? Let's open these ones. My next project is this. These are, well, I don't know, just a general holder, but I'm going to use it as a necklace holder and mount them here all the way across three and hang all of Hannah's necklaces because guess who gets to untangle them after we travel? This guy. So this would be a nice way, again, just like laying out the sunglasses, you can just see everything and have it appropriately styled like so you can just you know get into it all right last time on thing i haven't really looked in here recently but this under the stairs was like really messy and now it's not like it's gotten a lot better but these are just like the most simple storage solutions to pile in you go all the way back here and i just stack them kind of under each stair and that's worked out. Just having these kids, man, you just acquire so many things. Gotta keep things moving. You know, I owe this room a really big finish because behind here, there are these panels for all our heated floors. But <clears throat> you need to get on Amazon, get some storage solutions together for there. And Preston's got his stool too. Double stool, all from the Zahn. So there's a couple of the little, little things that I'm going to be including in my guilty pleasures section of my newsletter each week. Kind of some more things, some tips, tricks I have to make in our home a little more functional for a good price. I really want to tell you guys about the furniture and the planters and the plants and the decor that we get on Amazon because there's a lot of good stuff. Man, it's just like an endless world on there. But yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now. X marks the spot at our house. So yeah, sign up for the newsletter. Also gonna partner with some people. I haven't really worked a newsletter before, but definitely gonna bring the community some discounts in there. I'm pretty excited about it. That's something I wanna sell into my partnership so you guys can not only benefit from subscribing and being hopefully inspired by some of the info, the travel destinations, the places I'm going in New York or whatever city I'm in, um, some music, the latest vlog. Here we are. Um, yeah, but hopefully I can get some work, some of these brands to get you some money off too. So anyway, that's that. See you in the newsletter soon. And obviously back here, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button.